Hello Sagittarius. Hello Leo. How are you? My fellow fire signs. I hope you are well. Thank you so much for clicking here. I appreciate you already. Thank you for, by the way for all the ways in which you love me being in the in the comments and, and talking about videos and um, I just like to see you there. I like to know you're there so um, if you don't want to be in the comments please offer a thumbs up at least and just exchange some energy. That's how this thing works. Uh, we can't uh, feel each other. We can't really get um, very interesting readings right or maybe it's not much going to resonate with you nonetheless try and connect with me okay so i'm here to read for the week ahead sun moon rising venus and jupiter whether you're leo or sagittarius um and so i'm going to read for leo first so sagittarius i'll see you in just a second all right leo here we go it's just you and me and whoever's snooping <laughs> whoever's cross watching you leo <laughs> all right here we go are you flirting with me, Leo? <laughs> Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Here we go. All right. We've got sacrifice. So it says giving up something now for a future reward. Why is that? Tell me about the sacrifice for Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Right. Okay, we've got the lovers on the bottom of the deck. What's all this about, though? Leo, what is all this about? We've got sacrifice, release, success, and embrace. So it feels like you're going to release something. You're about to release some sort of grudge or some sort of feeling that you got. Hmm. It feels like it's um, you're making a sacrifice to release something that's going to bring, bring great success. Part of the release, I do believe, is maybe some silence that you've had with someone or that you're holding a grudge for some reason or you have some type of wound that you haven't yet uh, detected that's way down deep that you probably should investigate here. Uh, I feel like you that you are either releasing negative energies that may have been something that has followed you around for quite some time. It says it's time to shine, success. And so it does remind me of the sun. It's time to shine. Leo, you are the sun, right? I feel like there is going to be some success that you're going to see when you release all of this. It's just, it's about dropping grudges, I think. It's about, it's about not not being uh, silent with people because they don't agree with you or it's, it's that kind of thing. Uh, uh, maybe somebody makes you uncomfortable, they speak the truth, It's it, and you kind of hold it against them because you're not interested. It feels like, it feels like you're about to drop some sort of a grudge. And I think the grudge has led to silence. Um, success, it says, it's, it's your time to shine, success from what you pour your heart into. I think what you're pouring your heart into is releasing and then embracing the future here. It says, find peace within your current state of being. And that's the magic ticket, really, right? Leo, the magic ticket is accepting your situation for what it is right now. And maybe it's a situation that you don't have control of and you can't, you can't change then you got to embrace it and move on and realize that either you have a choice to fix it or change it, and if you don't, have the wisdom to move on. And I think that's what this embrace card is about. Could be talking about something with the lovers, though, a passionate connection, shared vision of values, self-awareness, tapping into your higher self. I feel like you're becoming or have become aware of somebody that is in the future that you've retreated from you're making a decision i think you've come to some sort of self-awareness that you have bigger feelings for somebody than you thought you did <laughs> that's what it feels like so this release now tells me a few more things that maybe there are some there is some silence between you and another i think you have been in i think you've been busy I think you've been busy trying to let go of grudges, release some things, whether that is people 
or jobs or a marriage or whatever it is. I feel like you're in the midst of change and your sacrifices that you're making now, you know, are going to be um, beneficial for, for, for the future. It feels like you're cleaning some things up and, and dropping some other things in order to get some success. I like it. All right, tell me about Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. We've got the Three of Wands is in the reverse. Hmm. Three of Wands in the reverse means you're not waiting anymore for the ships to come in. It's like you, um, you maybe were waiting for things to get better. And things weren't getting better, but understand that you were the one, the only one that could could make the situation better. I've got the Page of Wands. You're planning on sending some sort of a message to someone. Someone that you've had an ending with. Now, the thing is this, is I think that the ending was a successful ending. I think it was... I think it was a full circle thing. What I want to say is if it's a full circle thing for some of you, like you know this person, right? It feels like it's, um, hmm, it's like started at a point and then we went around and we met at that point again. That's what it feels like. That's what the universe is telling me. And it feels like, it, it feels like there is an energy of, I want to send a message, but I think it's over. What I want to say is that you need to embrace the situation for what it is right now. No matter whatever your perception of the situation, embrace it for what it is. So, so maybe it is over, right? Let's go with that. Maybe it is over. If you want the confirmation about whether it is or not, um, I feel like you need to send the message. The message itself could bring the ending, though, understand. It's all about embracing this moment for what it is. You need to not... Um, uh, try to steer the outcome. I think you just need to give it to the universe. So if you're going to take, if you're going to shoot your shot, and if that's what it feels like, the Page of Wands here tells me that you're you're wanting to send a message, but you're trying to get there before the door closes. But what I want to say is the World Card shows up for a reason, and that's because things have come full circle, or we've learned a lesson, or there's success here. So it feels like that you're, you don't want to wait anymore to send the message. And I think that you will. For some of you, this message is going to be the end of it. It'll close the door and you'll be, you'll get your answer and you'll be able to move on. For others of you, there is a, this message that will be sent and you'll let them know that there's been a release, that you hold no, no bad feelings for them and that you just um, want to, you know, move into closing this chapter so you can get into the next chapter. Still looking at the lovers in the future here. Tell me more. So we've got the Four of Wands. Mm. You don't want to wait anymore for happiness and, and stability here. Ah, the Knight of Wands, though, right? The Knight of Wands and the Page of Wands. We've got you clocked on the fire energy here. Yeah, so it feels like you, it feels like you're, well, yeah, I feel like you're going to do this impulsively, is what I want to say, that you're going to send a message, you're going to figure it out, you're going to find out when is the right time to do that, and it's going to be impulsive for you. You're not going to, you're not going to say, I'm going to do it next week on a Tuesday at this time. You're just going to do it when the time feels right. And I think that going into the week ahead is when the time feels right. We have uh, the fool. I love it. Look at that. Yeah. And it's be only because you've been willing to come forward, to send the message, to actually face the end, face the karma of learning the lesson that you're going to be able to begin again because things end so they can begin. That's the whole point, right? So we don't stay stagnant. So we move right along. So I feel like you are going... You're going to go for it. That's what it feels like. It feels like a bit of excitement in my chest that you're going to go for it. Um, with the with the Page of Wands and the Knight of Wands, although this is a little bit of, 
young, impulsive, not really looking too far into the future energy, I'm in favor of it. Only because it's going to bring you beautiful things here. It's going to bring you an ending and a beginning. So it's either you two are going to resolve your issues because you've come to a place where you can embrace the situation as it is, and then we get to close the chapter and start again, or I come to you with the passionate messages, you cut me off here, say the door's closed, and we get a new beginning anyway. So either way, there's something new coming. We have the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. That's future energy for me. Uh, the Ten of Cups is love with the Queen. This feels like it's it's um, the Judgment card is here now. And again, this is the ending, the World card. So it feels like you're being given another chance here to say your piece. The Queen of Swords is next to the Judgment card. So I feel like the Queen of Swords is is part of this here. I feel like you need to liberate yourself from a situation and... The universe is saying you're absolutely correct. And if you would like to have a second chance to do this, to speak your mind or speak your peace, you're going to get the chance to do that. Although make sure that you're doing it in a balanced way. Queen of Pentacles and Ten of Cups. I feel like you are um, going to speak to someone, possibly who is an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, but I feel like this person gives you Ten of Cups vibes. This person grounds you. They give you love. They show you emotion. This person is uh, sort of a, um, a domestic goddess. This one is, is someone who um, is not only someone who maybe carries a business, but is still is, is also into giving charity and balance to others. So I feel like in the future here, in the near future, you're going for it. Yeah. I feel like you're, you're going to reach out, possibly the Queen of Pentacles. I think you're going to be honest, short, sweet, to the point. And um, I feel like the Ten of Cups is telling me that it's all going to work out in your favor. But it, it starts with, you know, you, you looking at your life, making the sacrifices first to not hold a grudge. And um, that's what's going to give you the success or the willingness to be able to embrace the situation for what it is. All right. Kind of love it for you, actually. Yeah, it's really lovely. I really like to see when people are dropping burdens. Honestly, it's one of my favorite things to read. I love when people are just, I feel that you're just like crashing right through it. I don't want to wait for this anymore. I got to get this done because if I want any stability, I need to make the decision to have this new, new beginning, but it's going to take going through an ending to get to the beginning. And that's the sucky part, right? <laughs> yeah. So you really don't know whether this is the is if the, if this is the beginning or is it the end will when will i see you again i feel like um it's the i always get it wrong third dimension fifth dimension and it's a song that plays in my head constantly it's from my childhood and uh i feel like that some of you it's going to end right there and you're going to have your new beginning and for others of you the two of you are going to have a beginning because the lovers is in the future all right let's take a look here what things are you having to sacrifice here leo What are you giving up? So I feel like you've, you're, um, uh, some of the sacrifices have had to be made in love. So maybe you're getting rid of relationships or attachments to relationships or attachments to people. And, and understand like sometimes that those attachments can be the worst on the draining of your, of your love energy. So if you're, you have negative energy, you have an attachment to someone, you have negative energy with them, um, it can definitely affect you as the King of Cups because it's always putting you in the place, Leo, that you have to be the one who's corralling your feelings, who's not losing your crap, who's, you know what I mean, trying to be stoic on the surface and I think you are actually I don't think you're showing anybody that you're making sacrifices tell me more so it's I feel like you are making sacrifices in your pentacle life right now it could be material things that you're sacrificing at this time and you're not really showing anybody um, I feel like if you are the person who's having to make those um, material or financial cuts right now, if those are some of the sacrifices that you have to make. I want to say that if you do decide to take action on it, rather than waiting for it to come to you and be a bigger problem, if you decide to go there and take action on it, it's going to give you way more stability. I feel like uh, we're talking about your pentacle world here. I think you're sacrificing love because your pentacle world right now, you're looking for stability. I feel like you're somebody who maybe... Uh, um, is dealing in 
like you're you're barely making it to the end of the month or um, you could be someone who's working two jobs I see that sometimes with the two of Pentacles uh, I, I also feel that that's what you're you're working on you're you're sacrificing love right now for your Pentacle world but I think it's something that needs immediate attention All right, we have the star. You have hope for stability. And I, I know it's the four of wands, so I feel like it's like you're looking for stability within your home. And that includes your pentacles. We have the star. It's like I, I'm, I'm really working the best that I can on this. I really hope that it's going to work out. I think that it will because the star is the connection um, to the universe as I see it. I see the star as not only um, seeing things clearly, getting clarity, clarity about um, where your connection is. I think that you're I think that you use a connection to the uh, to the universe that you're not aware of or you don't name. I feel like the universe comes pops their head in here and gives you a little bit of hope to just move past this. It feels like it's it feels like it's it's the hardest before it gets better, right? And it feels like it's the hardest right now. And going into the week ahead, I feel you get a little more organized with all of this. I feel like you now know where your efforts need to be laid. How are my how am I going to get my uh, my four of wands? It's through the eight of pentacles. It's through working really hard. So you've been making sacrifices in love to work really hard. I feel like there is, you know, you, you still worry about this world card. It, it, it's like you don't have time to approach it right now. You don't have you don't have room on your plate for it, but you worry that it's the end. You might be someone who's not sleeping very well because of this Knight of Wands. I feel like you're waiting for the right time, or you're you're arguing with yourself about whether you should make that impulsive move and send the message. We have the Queen of Swords. Okay, so there's a some sort of a liberation that happens here. So I, I do feel like... Yeah, it doesn't really tell me what kind of liberation, though, does it? Oh, it's because of the message you sent. Okay, so regardless of whether or not this all comes together and there's endings and beginnings and you ride off into the sunset or you don't, I feel like you get the relief when you hit the send. Because it's been making you crazy. It's the anticipation of, I need to do something about this situation, but I don't have room on my plate right now. So I think that um, what liberates you is actually sending the message and being honest that, you know, this is something that you've been thinking about a lot. Um, I feel like uh, that you've been worried that this other person maybe has had a new beginning without you because I'm looking at the lovers. Um, in the future here yeah it's all self-awareness is what it is that's what we're doing you're making decisions now based on being aware of the situation i think that you've decided that you want something and you're going to take movement towards that thing although i think that you're worried that there is it's going to there's going to be an ending here but it's the chances we take because we miss every shot we don't take y'all you're going to miss it for sure if you don't try so we've got uh, success and embrace. So what are you trying to embrace here? Try and embrace yourself, man. <laughs> I think you are. I think you are. The sun is here. There's you, Leo. I think you are trying to look back at the hardship that you've had in a positive light. I think that you've realized this is the breakthrough. This is the sun. The breakthrough is right here. It's the self-awareness that came. It's, um, I feel that the awareness that has come here is that, you know, th that you do, you, even though it was really hard back there, uh, because now I'm seeing the wounded warrior here, the nine of wands tells me that you've been through a lot of crap. You've been through a lot of it, but I feel like you're choosing to see it in a different way, that you're embracing the situation for what it is. What it is, is that back there in all of that crap and crud, there was a lot of good stuff. I'm going to try to see the positivity in it that it built you to here. Had you not had all those those bad situations build you to here, you would not be here. So, what is your challenge for the week ahead, Leo? What's your challenge for the week ahead, Leo? 
The challenge is um, I feel abundance. Now, because I see that you are really um, working super hard to find opportunities to make more uh, material things happen for you, I feel like this is twofold here. So the Ten of Pentacles is... I feel like you, the challenge for the week ahead is your pentacle world. I think you're just really focused on it. You're focused on home and hearth right now. There's something going on with your money that's making it fluctuate up and down. And I think that you are going to get some stability going forward. But you need to make that decision right now to release any sort of thing that is keeping you um, blocked or obstructed from what how you want to move forward and I think that what you need to you need to release some stuff that's gone on in the past in order to be able to fly right you need to just drop some of the luggage and go yeah so I think you're going to make a decision to reach out to somebody here that you haven't spoken with in a while the four of pentacles tells me it's been quiet you've not been sharing anything you're the miser and it feels like unless you open up things are not going to move forward i think you're planning on giving someone reciprocity there's going to be some sort of a, a message a messenger's being sent here the page is being dispatched and i feel like the six of pentacles is you're going to give this person reciprocity and i feel like you kind of want to move forward but you want to move forward slow because you have to there's a lot of pentacle stuff going on here so i feel like you're wondering if that person is dating anyone else the six of pentacles for me is like this person could be giving more to more to other people than to you so i think that you are going to move forward you're going to think it out but i think you're going to listen to your gut I feel like this turns into a long-term relationship for those of you who are going to pursue it. And others of you, you're going to stop right there and just get your karma. You're going to learn your lessons and you're going to move on. Yep, absolutely. All right, so we got the Eight of Wands. There is communication coming up in the week ahead, it looks like, uh, in the future. Yeah, it looks like you're going to have the courage to reach out to somebody and let them know that you've, that you've got the Ace of Cups feels for them, that you want to try something um, to maybe give them more emotion or show them emotion. Um, I feel like the Queen of Wands is here because you have an incredible attraction to this person, but not only are they the Queen of Wands, or uh, they are also the Queen of Cups. I feel like you're now, you, you're you de uh, detached from this person who you have deep feelings for and a lot of passionate feelings for. It's been boring, though. I think that's why you're reaching out. All right, Leo, that's where it is. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for uh, coming here and watching. I appreciate you. And uh, I will now go read for Sagittarius. Have yourself a good week. I will see you soon. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Hello, Saggies. Thanks for waiting here for me. I appreciate it. Thanks so much. Um, I'm here to do your reading, of course, for the week ahead. Sagittarius, I am a Sag rising. And so I got your energy here. It's pretty easy for me to read for you. And um, I'm familiar with it. Here we go, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. We're looking at the week ahead. The week ahead for Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. All right. There it is. Creativity. It says, um, have, have fun. Express yourself in new ways. I think you need a new thing. I think you've been a little bit stagnant and it's time to, to inject your life for, for, with some creativity. For some of you, you're going to have to go out there and find something you've never done before. Maybe it's going to buy art supplies. Maybe you're going to run a marathon. Whatever it is, uh, I feel like it's going to be a very creative process. It's going to help you overcome some of the obstacles that you have created for yourself whilst maybe not being, um, not um, acting uh, creatively enough in your life it gives us joy creative things give us joy um, and creative can be anything to anyone it can be painting rocks it can be anything right I always see it as um, something that is crafty because I am <laughs> that's why I see it that way uh, we've got self-limiting beliefs so I think that you're over coming um, some obstacles right now within yourself and I think that creativity is what you're being told is what what you need is because when you're creative your brain goes to another place it goes to a meditation so for for those of you who say Elsie I can't sit there on a cushion for five minutes and try and, and try and block out my thoughts in order to meditate if that's you if you can't slow down the mind then you need to find something like crocheting needlepoint <laughs> you know like um you know painting um paint by numbers maybe gem painting or whatever it is something that will put you into a meditative state i believe that you the the obstacle that you need to over overcome is some type of self-limiting belief it's a negative thought that you've been creating 
um, in your mind, understand. It's in your mind. I don't think that it's, it's anything that has gone on around the outside. I believe you're the one that's placed the block. It's a self-limiting belief. And whether it was triggered by someone who did something terrible or not, it's, uh, it's got you in the shadow work. Yeah, it says failure to accept your situation, unhealthy cycles or addictions. So I, it doesn't feel like addictions to me here. What it feels like is your failure to accept the situation for what it is. So the self-limiting belief is maybe that, um, that it's a negative thought that's creating a roadblock for you. And it's creating denial, a failure to accept a situation. There's something here that you're not seeing, and it's the biggest block. It's an awareness thing. It's not something that someone can tell you like you have greens in your teeth. Like, it's not like that. It's like something that you need to figure out. You're in denial about something here, Satch. And it's creating some negativity for you here. We've got a soulmate. What's this? What is that? What? Recognition of a soulmate is going to bring abundance and expansion. I'm going to say, as I hold these cards, that it feels as though the person that you think is the soulmate is not the person that you think. I'm not saying that in a good way or a bad way. I'm just saying that the person that you have put the label on, I don't think is the soulmate. I feel like there's soulmate recognition here, which tells me that, that it's not... Uh, that's it's not something that you've seen before it feels like maybe a self-limiting belief is i don't have a soulmate but whatever changes your mind here brings you into a, a abundance and expansion here i think you've had uh some help here from your angel team spread your wings i always see that as angelic en energy here feel it that way all right okay let's look at some tarot this is curiouser and curiouser. Look at this, Sag. Interesting energy. So I'm going to say that for some of you, because you understand I, I read for so much energy. For some of you, I feel that the denial is that you have a soulmate. So Sag, maybe you're in denial that you have a soulmate. Um, and the self-limiting belief could be, I don't have a soulmate. Or that you feel as though that there's something that's wrong with you that you don't have a soulmate. And, and stop thinking that way if, it's, if that's the way you're thinking. Because um, it's not the truth at all. I feel like it's a, a mental block that you need to take care of yourself, but you're still in denial about it. For others of you, there is this... Um, there is this failure to accept the situation about the soulmate. You're blaming it on yourself. What's going on here? Tell me about Sag, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. For the week ahead, please, for Sag. Sagittarius. We've got the, um, the Five of Wands. We have the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, it's a doubt in yourself is what it is. I feel like the, the obstacle that you're overcoming is self-doubt. Not being able to make a decision or feeling in confusion or indecision about something that you need an answer to. You've got a, a block right now. So I really believe that creativity is the, is the answer to all of that right now, that you need to get into a meditative space. If you are someone who cannot meditate, then I, I uh, strongly, strongly advise taking up some sort of creative project. Whether it's building a house or a shed, laying some concrete, doesn't matter what it is, it's going to put you in a meditative state. Got the hanged man here. Yeah, you're trying to make a decision about something or see something from another perspective or the other side. We've got uh, the ten of wands and the sun. You're going to be getting some sort of a message here that's going to make you very happy. Um, Saj, I feel like you, it's almost as if you've talked yourself out of something. 
The Page of Cups is here. There is a message that's going to be making you very happy that's coming in the future. I do believe for some of you it is from this soulmate. You may have been in denial that this was actually your soulmate. Like maybe you're thinking, maybe I put the wrong label on the forehead. Like maybe they really aren't my soulmate. Maybe I had it all wrong. I think that you're about to, to purge or you're probably in that purge already because of the full moon that you're purging um, uh, addictive energies and so that can be like overthinking or thinking too much or constantly in obsessive thinking I feel like you need something to sidetrack your brain that your brain is constantly constantly um, thinking about the ten of wands and the seven of pentacles here so the obstacles that you're overcoming is waiting I feel like you're waiting for something to um, to end or to become less burdensome. I feel like you've been carrying some type of a burden and the burden mostly is about in the waiting. You've been waiting for this message, I think, and uh, the sun is here. So I feel like the sun is here because it's going to be a good message. It, it feels like there's there is the obstacle that you're overcoming here is I feel like you you need to stop beating yourself up about things that happened in the past. The hanged man is here to say seeing it from another perspective, but that can be a little obsessive too uh, if you're going to be hanging out here in the hanged man energy. Um, it's all about looking at it's it's all about looking at it now with my gut, right? Because this is Piscean energy. It's like I'm looking at it um, uh, from another side now. I can't always look at it from my own side. I feel like there is a message here for you that you have been trying to make a decision about something that you have been seeing from the other side. I think it's going to take some sort of a creative process in order to give you that download is what I want to say because it feels like you're a little bit defensive. We've got the Ten of Wands here which tells me that you've been carrying, you know, this this uh, feeling of feeling like you're not enough or that this person's been silent with you because you're not enough. And, and that's not the truth. Uh, please understand that you're looking at it from one side and that you might be in denial because somebody here is about to communicate with you that's going to make you very happy and it's going to help you drop some of these burdens. But I think you've created a lot of these burdens in the waiting. It's given you too much time to think. And it's put you in indecision. Oh, maybe they don't want me. Maybe there's competition. That's the Five of Wands as well. All right, bottom of the deck. What do we got in the future? Page of Pentacles. So we have this um, we have this connection here. Uh, however, this messenger comes to you, this page, however this message comes, it'll be a surprise. I feel like you will be out doing something fun possibly, or you'll be at the beach or in the sun, or um, you just won't have your mind on this person, on this soulmate. And that's when they will appear. So it goes from you getting a message um, that surprises you here, possibly with some affection attached to it. We go to the page of pentacles. Now we're gonna. We've now we've dispatched the page of material things, uh, materializing all of this stuff here. We got the page of swords. Look at that. Yeah, somebody has been um, watching you. I believe probably online or in the neighborhood or whatever. Maybe they just see you every day at Starbucks. Do you know what I mean? They've been noticing you or watching you online. I feel like they have been doing that in order to make a decision of some kind. The Two of Swords is here. And then we've got uh, the King of Cups. So I feel like it is a decision about love that's, that is going to face you into the future here. And it feels like you're going to get a lot of messages from this person. I want to say, I feel like they're, they come to you with this affection. It's going to surprise you. I feel like they come to you with, um, you know, the energy of, I don't want to watch you anymore. I want to talk with you. And that's why, the, that's why the Page of Pentacles is here. But somebody is making a decision about you, I think, um, that's coming up in the near future here. All right. Let's clarify just a little bit for you, Savage. Thank you so much for your uh, comments and for your thumbs up for helping build this tribe. I appreciate you, Sag. It's important to me. So thank you very much for, for helping me do that. All right. Okay, I keep dropping things. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, so we have the Three of Pentacles. So I, I feel like you, um, you already know this soulmate. Yeah, it's someone that you already have built some sort of a, some sort of a, 
some sort of stability with. So this is someone that you like, that you work well with. This is someone who gives you stability. This is someone who could be a friend of a friend. Um, I feel like this is where you're supposed to get the answers. I feel like you're looking at the situation as you go into the week ahead. You're trying to look at it from their point of view. I feel like there's, there's really a message here that you need. And it comes through creativity. Tell me more about this, please. Got the Four of Cups. The Six of Swords. And the Seven of Swords. Tell me why the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords, because the Ten of Swords, because something is coming to an end. What is that? Hmm, I like it. So I, I feel like, I feel like something, what's ending is the silence. Okay, I like it, Sag, I like it. So it's the silence that is ending here, the Seven of Swords and the Ten of Swords. And the Knight of Wands is here. I think it's also what I want to say is the end of like impulsivity or no stability. Just listening. Yeah, I feel that, that this, um, this page of cups here, sorry, the doorbell guys, <laughs> um, the page of cups here is is I feel what breaks the silence here. Yeah, I feel like it's it's the end of it's the end of something that was quite painful and I feel like it's about to end soon. I don't think you're going to have to wait much longer is what I want to say. This message is coming, right? I, I feel like at the end of next week or on the weekend, I feel like in the week ahead it's it's like at the very end of the week it feels like. <coughs> Excuse me. What is the um, the challenge for the week ahead for Sag, please? Look at that. It's the, the King of Cups. The challenge is love. The challenge is keeping your crap together. Mm -hmm. When you get this message, I feel. The Ten of Wands tells me that love has been burdensome for you. And that you've been waiting, I feel, for... Um, for someone to claim you. That's what it feels like. You've been waiting for someone to love you. And this person that's back here that I feel that you're in indecision about and trying to see it from their side is someone who's probably unsure or is not really sure what they want to do. And I think that you know your path, but they don't know theirs. The Four of Cups tells me that there is somebody here, this indecision, and we're in the Four of Cups. It's like the indecision is because there's it's redundant energy. I'm kind of bored. Um, I feel like somebody has been silent with you and you've been waiting for them to contact you or giving them, holding space for them, holding grace, right? It feels like this is about to uh, come together, I think. You're in some sort of denial. You're saying, nope, this is not for me. Or you're in some sort of denial about this soulmate recognition. Somebody is is going to realize in the very near future that there is a soulmate here. All right. Well, we shall not leave this, this um, reading without finding out what's going on with this message, right? Tell me about the Page of Cups, please. Tell me more about this surprise message that's going to bring sunshine. I think it is because that you waited, you held back, you didn't chase. It feels like you're waiting on someone to make a decision and you don't care either way. It feels like you just need to move on, right? The Six of Swords is here. I just want to get out of the chaos of this, waiting with these burdens, the burden of silence, the burden of waiting. I just want to get out of that. I just want to leave it. So I feel that you do. I feel that as you decide to disconnect from this and decide, I just can't wait for this anymore. I feel like that's when it shows up, but that's how the universe plays with us. <laughs> I, you know, the universe is like, I just needed you to tell me you didn't need it. And as long, as long as you need it, I'm not giving it to you because you're going to abuse it if you need it. But the moment you don't need it anymore, the moment it turns into want, that's when this message comes in. 
It's like you have an, an opportunity to want something, but you don't necessarily need it. Whether that be a person or a job or a car or a house, whatever that is. Tell me about this message. Yep, there it is. And it's because you let go, because you move out of the chaos and you decide that you need a calmer life, you need to drop these burdens. I feel like the Page of Cups is here. There it is. There's the lover. Like I said, it's the game that the universe plays. I don't think it's a game, to be honest. <laughs> it's a lesson. It's a lesson of, it's a lesson of you must let go. It's not yours to hold on to. You don't own it. It never was yours. Yeah. And as long as you tell the universe, Sag, that you need it, you're not going to get it. But I feel like the moment that you let go and decide to move on, that's when all of this comes together. With the lovers and the two of cups, there's the soulmate. It's the soulmate recognition. Yeah. So I don't know if you're waiting for someone to recognize you as the soulmate or you're recognizing them, but I do believe that the answer here is to get into some creativity so you can clean this up here. You don't need to be looking at it from their side and beating yourself up about it. You're trying to overcome obstacles here, your self-limiting beliefs. I feel like once you do that, once you release the burdens and stop waiting... I feel like that's when all this kicks off, I'm telling you. And it's right around the corner, but it's your choice. How how can you let go of them? And I'm not saying just, you know, for, forget them. I'm saying detach from them. Live your life. Turn your back. Do your thing. Figure it out. Who cares if they're coming back? Who cares? But I think that you're rewarded with love and a soulmate uh, because you decide that you no longer need it. There it is. So I think that, um, woof, really? Wow, okay. <laughs> the Three of Cups, the Judgment, the Temperance tells me that getting a second chance, um, that something is resurrecting itself and it's going to be good. It's going to be healing. I feel like there's going to be some sort of a reunion, but you already knew that, Sag. So I got the High Priestess here. I feel like either you have Piscean energy or you're the High Priestess. <laughs> hey, you're the person who just knows, has a knowing. This could be this king of wands who is single here that is coming in. I'm just saying, could be Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Um, we've got Leo energy here. And Piscean energy here. Yeah, it's all about the Pisces and the Leo. That's what it looks like to me. That's the energies that I feel here. All right, thank you so much for coming here and watching. I appreciate you, Sagittarius. Thank you, thank you. And I'm going to go for now. I'm going to be back, though. I'm always back, right? <laughs> I will come back with more readings for the week. Love you guys. I'm out for now. Bye-bye.